Hey, this is Demon Driver, and uh, I want to show you guys um, basically a walkthrough of the materials I use and the materials you can use in order to build um, basically any airliner or any RC airplane, scratch build plane you want to build, and um, basically show you guys, you know, what I like to use to um, to build planes and just give you guys some ideas. Now one of the most common foams that I like to use is called Depron. You can buy this at rcfoam.com and um, this is probably, the, this is 3 millimeter and I'm going to show you one of the qualities of it. It can bend to a degree. The thicker it is, the more brittle it is. See, it pops at that point. The thinner it is, the more bendable it is. One millimeter, two millimeter is a lot more durable than this. All right. Great for outer covering of uh, of wings and fuselages. Okay, next foam is EP foam. This is like an EP type of styrofoam right here. Okay. All right, let's get that out of there. And next, we got Fan Fold. This is pink Fan Fold from Home Depot. Okay, this is rough on one side and smooth on the other. It has a plastic surface. Very lightweight, very strong. You can make stabilizers out of this and it's, uh, it's pretty useful. In other countries, you might have similar versions of this for um, home construction. Okay, and we move on to the Lowe's version. Lowe's version of Fanfold, and it's blue, and it's a blue foam, as you can see. It's lighter, it, it's, a, it's close to Depron. It's getting near Depron. Very lightweight. A lot of guys on rcgroups.com and RC Universe like to use this stuff. Real good. Has a thin sheet of plastic styrene on one side and bare foam on one. You can see the texture of the foam. I'll kind of zoom in here for you, give you guys an idea of what's going on there. Okay. Next material. Cardboard. You can actually build RC airplanes out of cardboard. There's a guy on rcgroups.com by the name of Green Sea Ships, Barrett. He has built JU-88, uh, I think a Ford Tri-Motor, and a bunch of other planes out of cardboard. Inexpensive, cheap. Your plane's a little bit heavier, but as long as you have enough power and a big enough wingspan, it'll fly. Corrugated cardboard. I hope to build maybe a, a Ford Tri-Motor with maybe a 7 foot, 8 foot wingspan out of cardboard and do a build thread and show you guys how to inexpensively build an RC plane. Okay, next material. Pink thick sheet foam. This is a uh, 2 inch right here. This is a tail um, slug of a DC-9 that I didn't use. I built one too many. Okay, you buy this at Home Depot. Remember, pink is Home Depot, blue is Lowe's. Alright, here's the blue stuff from Lowe's. Very similar to the pink stuff. This is just a, a chunk. Thin, strong, real tough. Tough stuff. Beat the crap out of this stuff. Real, real tough. I build planes out of this stuff and you can really whack the crap out of this stuff. It's pretty, pretty tough. Okay. Fiberglass cloth. Fiberglass cloth. You can buy this in most hobby shops. Buy it online. You laminate it with um, epoxies, resins, um, coat noses, tail sections, wings. Um, people use this for a lot of different stuff. Different degrees, different variations of weight. Uh, throw that over there, get that out of the way. Okay, balsa wood. This is a balsa wood rod, square rod, balsa wood. Very light. It's getting, it's starting to get inexpensive again. I guess people are moving to carbon fiber and 
different materials. You can get this at most places. Uh, you can even get it at um, crafts, uh, arts and craft stores like Michaels and um, AC Moore. Ravel is now coming out with it, and um, of course Midwest Balsa. And here we go, aluminum. Aluminum is another good building material. This is an aluminum rod right here. Okay, thin, but once you reach your structural load limit, it bends. So be careful with aluminum. It's inexpensive and it's easy to find, but it will, it has a very, uh, you know, it'll bend when you get to your load limit. Plywood, here's a plywood doll rod. Okay, plywood. Good material. Strong. I mean, you whack the crap out of it. It's strong. Again, when you reach your load limit, it'll just crack. It'll snap. It's heavier than balsa. It's about three to four times heavier. But again, on a glider or something like that, on a wingspan of a glider or a bigger plane, this stuff is okay. And it's cheap. It's inexpensive. All right. My favorite material, carbon fiber. Right here, this is the, this is what I'm talking about, carbon fiber. And this happens to be an arrow body, an arrow rod, right here. Great stuff. Light, strong, and if you buy it from the right place, inexpensive. Where I like to go, CST Composites in Arizona. I think they're in Arizona. You can buy tons of um, foam from these, uh, uh, carbon fiber. It's inexpensive. They have tons of different, they have Kevlar, carbon fiber rods, squares, rectangles, plates, carbon fiber, um, carbon fiber cloth. They've got so much crap, it's not even funny. But the only bad thing is, um, going through their website is like reading the Matrix. It's a little bit complicated so you need to uh, take your time on their website so we got carbon fiber um, plywood plywood's another good material here's a plate of uh, plywood basswood it's all good you got carbon fiber plates so those are just some ideas of um, you know the kind of stuff that you can use to uh, to build your RC planes with and um, I just hope that uh, that comes in handy. Okay, and if you guys find new materials to use to build RC planes, you know, share them, share them with everybody. All right, guys, this is Demon Driver from the Demon Workshop, Demon Insane Asylum. You guys take care. Bye bye.